Welcome to the Working Entrepreneur. If you're watching this video, you must be following me on my social media networks. If not, make sure that you are. All links will be provided to you in the description box below. Um, make sure that you are liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing as well. Make sure that you are clicking on that notification bell. That way, every time a video is available for you guys, you guys will be notified. So let's get on with the video. So based on the title of this video, this is geared to my girl bosses out there looking to be uh, to be organized and know exactly what they're doing in their businesses. You know what, as a matter of fact, it's not just for my girl entrepreneurs out there or my girl bosses out there, it's for all my bosses out there wanting to find ways to keep themselves organized and keep themselves accountable. So the, I'm going to give you seven ways for you guys to stay um, organized, that way you know exactly what you're doing within your business. So the first way that you are able to stay um, organized is to plan your day the night before okay hear me out some people will say oh that's too that's overkill if you really think about it it's really not um, when you plan your day the night before you know exactly what needs to be done the next day I cannot tell you how many times I've woken up from sleep and I start asking myself okay what needs to be done so now I'm sitting here on my bed for five to ten minutes still trying to figure out what needs to be done on um, for the day for that day so that breeds procrastination I noticed that 24 hours has gone by and nothing is done you don't want that to happen especially if you're wanting to be an entrepreneur if you're wanting to be a business owner you don't have time you, you only have 24 hours in a day to get things done why not plan your day out the day before that way you know exactly what needs to be done when you wake up um, the next day Leave a comment below if you agree with me. If, if not, still leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about that. The second way that you are able to keep organized is write your most top 10 to-do and your tasks on your to-do list or your agenda list or your thought list. Um, if you want to do more than 10, that's fine. Be an overachiever. Do you. Um, but make sure that they're the most important things that need to be done for your day. That way you know exactly the, what needs to be done um, and you leave that the lesser things that are not important to the last minute. Because I have noticed that when I don't put the most important things at the top of the list and I get to it, by that time it's already too late. Point, a uh, case in point. For example, if I need to go get my car taken care of and, by, and I put it on my to-do list, by the time I get to it, the store, the, the shop is already closed. So now that day that I could have gotten my car detailed or my car, the oil changed, I have to leave that for the next day, which is not what I really wanted to do. But because I got to it too late and I did not put that on my top of my list is the reason why now I have to do it for the next day. So whatever I needed to do for the next day has to be put to the back burner. So always make sure that you put your most in top, most important things to the top and that way you can work down and then whatever is the less important that's not, um, that you could just put to the side, go ahead and do that last minute. Even though yes, some of those less important things are important, but they're not as important as, as the ones that have to be crossed off and out of your mind and you know, okay, it's done. Okay, so the third way that you are able to keep yourself organized is to get a planner or a calendar. Of course, some people like to use their phones. Me, because I am old fashioned, I like to um, use a planner um, and a calendar that's, that I can physically touch, I can physically turn the pages, and, and it's like right in my face. Yes, you can use your phone and it's right in your face too, but it does. it's not very personal. I, I like it to be very personal. It, it's like you can keep it for years and years and you can always go back to it and see exactly how you progressed as the time goes by whereas a phone it's not like really what can you do with the phone i mean you can do a lot with the phone you can but those phones you have to take them back get something else you don't do that with the planner you don't do that with, with the calendar that is physical that you can physically touch you can physically turn the pages 
I like to keep it old fashioned and as well it keeps you accountable because I've noticed that when you put things in your phone you don't really look at your phone for calendar or planning you're looking at your phone for a social media now you've spent all your time looking at social media when you could have been looking at your planner or calendar and keeping yourself accountable so the fourth way to keep yourself organized is to take one day out of the week and plan your next week ahead yes I said it take that time it may be a Saturday it may be a Sunday it may be when you're using the bathroom Take that time to plan your next week. Um, it relieves, it takes away the stress. It takes away the anxiety. You know exactly what needs to be done the next day, um, the next week. Um, and if anything pops up that needs to be added in, you have that time to add that into your next week agenda. Um, so you're not discombobulated. You're not, you're not procrastinating. You know exactly what how what needs to be done to progress your business or your day. fifth way that I will suggest for you to keep yourself organized is to write things down write it down anytime that you have an idea a thought a, a revelation write it down because you are not something will pop up and you going and you are going to forget what just popped in your head it may have been something that would have helped you grow your business and now you don't you can't remember it because you didn't write it down write it down people make sure that you keep a journal beside you anytime that you wake up from sleep you get that eureka moment pull out that journal pull out that phone and write that stuff down that way the next day you can look at it and you can try to see if you can implement it that is the way to be a successful business owner, a successful entrepreneur, or just a successful person altogether. Okay, so the sixth way that you're able to stay organized is meditation. Yes, meditation. Because we are so busy and our day is so busy, we have to take that time to breathe in and breathe out. If you have to go to the gym and work out, go work out. If you have to lay on the floor just to take all the noise away, lay on the floor. But take, find some time to write down, you need to meditate. That way you're not processing all this information in your head your head is pounding and you're wondering why you're having a headache because you're not um, meditate take some time so the seventh way to keep yourself organized is to re review or reprocess your thoughts and ideas yes re review your thoughts and ideas so sometimes you may write things down and you put it aside and you forget it that's because and that usually is because you have a lot going on and those things that you may have written down on a piece of paper or in your journal it just flashes away from your mind that's why, that's why it's really important to re-review every thought and every idea that has come in your mind and you've put down in your journal. That way you can keep yourself accountable and check it off on your list and see if you are working towards that goal to achieve those thoughts and those ideas that you have written down. Because they are in those, in those journals for a reason because you thought it was a good idea take that time to re-review that idea see if you can implement it do a to-do list if you have to I have provided you guys a link below with my to-do list if you want to use it make sure go ahead and click that link it is available for everyone um, that is the list that I use to keep myself accountable that is the list that I use 
yeah, um, I also have a list for thoughts and I also have a list for go um, a list for goals. If you'd like for me to also include that, let me know and I can go ahead and attach that for you guys. That way it will help you keep your thoughts in one place and keep your goals in one place. You can always use that to check off um, your list and see, okay, am I going to that goal? Have I worked to that goal? Have I completed that goal or have I completed that task? It just keeps you very, very accountable. So to recap, re-review your thoughts and ideas because there have been so many times that I have written things down in my journal or written things down on my post-its or written things down on a piece of paper and I completely forget that I wrote something down that was such a good idea. So when I go through my journal and I, I read what I wrote, I was like, oh my God, this was such a good idea. What am I doing? Why haven't I yet implemented this? Always make sure that you're re-reviewing your agenda. That way you know that you're working towards your goal and towards your, um, your successful um, path of being an entrepreneur or a business owner or just a better person. Um, next, make sure that you're meditating or you're working out. Meditating and working out really helps to clear your mind get that blood flowing so that when you are ready to retackle your day you have that extra energy to 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 help you because you also go time through, you can deal with it. people that just don't have the same common sense that you do so taking meditation and working out kind of relieves that stress so that when you're ready you refresh you can go back to those people and write out your emails <laughs> so the next way Make sure you write everything down. Don't think that you can remember it because our human brains, we are not meant to remember things, unfortunately. We're not elephants. Write it down so that you can know that you are able to go back to those lists that, you're write, that you have written down and you can re-revaluate and make sure that you are working towards your goal. Make sure that you have a planner and make sure that you have a calendar. Again, like I mentioned, you can also use your phone. There are a lot of apps out there that will help you keep yourself um, accountable. That You can also use as a planner. You can also use it as a calendar. Again, like I mentioned, I like, I'm like i very old-fashioned. I like to have something physical. That way I can um, open it, turn the pages, and know exactly what it is that I need to do for the next day. Um, so going back to a planner and calendar, write out your most top 10 or your top 20 or however most important things. That way you're able to check things off and know that those things are done. So then once those things are done, you can go on to the lesser things that are not as important. And the last and most final way is write out your, your um, well not last and final way, write out your agenda for the next week take some time to write out your agenda for the next week that way you know exactly what needs to be done and if anything pops up you can add that into your week um, so that you are one um, keeping yourself accountable and two you're not procrastinating because procrastination is the death to everything if you're procrastinating nothing is getting done and again like i mentioned you only have 24 hours if beyonce can pop out uh, songs in one day what is keeping you from doing making sure that your tasks are done efficiently nothing oh yeah nothing <laughs> so as well make sure that you're writing your um, top 10 list and make sure that you are taking the date the night before make sure that you plan out your next day that way you know exactly what needs it's like your short term goal you know what your short term goal is to do for the next day so that when you wake up you know okay this needs to be done dog needs to be taken care of car needs to be taken care of all that and you can check it off and know that it is done whereas if you don't do it you wake up the next day and you're sitting there on your bed on the edge of your bed for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what needs to be done so now you've wasted 10 minutes that could have been that could have been used for something to make you be more productive and be a better human being where you could have just sat it, sat down the day before and everyone for watching my video if you did enjoy the video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up 
like comment and share and as well subscribe and as well make sure that you are uh, clicking on the notification bell so that anytime a video is available for you guys you will be well notified um also share this to anyone you that probably you feel needs somebody to hear this. snap out of it get things done you're not going to be a better person or a better entrepreneur or a business person if you're just procrastinating this is probably what they need to hear make um make sure that you are following me on all my social media networks all the links and everything will be provided for you guys below and thank you so much guys for being patient with me and have a nice day